my name is Emerald and welcome to Pink Couch. Today we have a special guest. She is an artist and an entrepreneur. Sure! Hi Em, how are you today? I'm good, how are you? I'm fantastic as usual. So are we going to be painting today? Yes we are. Are you ready? I am ready. Awesome. Let's get painting. <laughs> So sorry, what are we going to be painting today? So we are going to be Dutch pouring today, okay? okay. Um, we aren't going to be doing any swipe pours or things like that, but we are going to play with colors in a cup. Yay. So it's called a dirty pour, and then this one kind of matching us today. We match in our twins in. So this one right here um, is basically a paper towel overlay. You bring up the paper towel and it gives you a nice design. You can make flowers or butterflies or whatever look your imagination brings you to. Okay. <laughs> that sounds interesting. So which one of these do you like best though? I really like that one. That's my favorite. This one? I actually have another one that's just like it. Do you want the both of them? Yes, please. Awesome. And so I wanted you to know whatever we paint today, I cannot take them with me so they're all yours. Yay! <laughs> Awesome. Alright, so are you ready? Yes. Alright, let's get started. Alright, so with with any pour, we always want to start with flooding the canvas. We're going to do the paper towel lay first because it's the easiest one to do. Okay, so this is our covering paint and it is white. Okay. okay. So what you do... Pour that paint over there on the canvas, all around the canvas. Wow. And what this is going to do is allow your paint to flow easily over the canvas. Like how you made the other colorful one? Yep. Exactly. You see how I spread the paint almost like mayonnaise or, <laughs> or um, icing on a cake. Sometimes it's necessary to cover the sides, like if I was using a black color or something as a base. Okay, so Emerald, what colors do you want to start with? Uh, I want to start with Emerald Green. Oh, that's right. So we have Emerald Green, okay? This is Soho Paint. It is an urban um, acrylic paint and this is emerald green <laughs> and I've been trying to find an emerald green paint for a long time and so I did actually in Deerfield Beach um, so I'll be getting more of this paint and I'm so happy that I brought it today for emerald to use alright emerald so this is what you're gonna do I'm gonna do an example for you I don't want to take away your emerald moment but I just want to do an example for you so what we're going to do for this one, we're just going to make lines. So any type of way you want to make a line, you can make a line going any way you want it to go. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Okay. It's okay. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> so what I like, we're going to alternate from different colors. Because we just don't want one color, right? Yeah. So we're going to use our, man, our, what is this, mustard gold? <laughs> yeah. We're going to use our mustard gold and take it this way. Pick it up, look around. Try to make a box. Alright, do you want to do the purple? Yes, please. Which way are you going to go? Uh, straight. Straight. Awesome, Em. Yeah. If you notice that the purple actually kind of looks like my slime color. I actually want a bright color to go in here somewhere. So, let's we'll just use some of my teal color here. Pretty. Take that all around there. Whoa. Okay. And so, are you ready for the paper towel lay? 
Yes. Awesome. So we're gently going to lay the paper towel over. Whoa. And see how it gets to the paint a little bit. Yeah. Let me touch it. And make sure that all the paper towels touching all of the paint. You can even do this at school. All you have to do is add water to the paint. And I know you mix up the gold, right? Yes. You've seen the consistency of the gold? Yes. That's what you need, baby. So you can make these at school and show your friends. How about that? Yeah. All right, Emerald. So I want you to pick up this side, just like this, and this side. Just like this, okay? I want you to pinch them right there. Okay. Okay. Like this? Yep. Pinch them together. I'm going to get this side. Pinch them together. And now, both of these sides go together. Can you hold that there for me? Awesome. And this side up. Pinch it together. Pinch that. Can you grab it? This side. Looks beautiful already. I'm going to take up the middle and then one, two. Whoa! Oh! We tripped a little bit, but that's okay. Yeah, still perfect. Is it? Mm, yeah, in my opinion. So, I'm not satisfied because you know I'm an artist, so I'm not satisfied. So, we're going to use my paint scraper and we're going to swipe. I know I said we weren't going to swipe today. Since we got this purple in here and we can barely see it, let's just swipe that down a little bit. Whoa. Can I try? Yep. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to the top right here, lay it very lightly, and gently glide it down. Okay? Perfect, actually. Good Yay. job. Okay, keep this there. I gotta get more paper towel. Awesome, Em. Can you do this side for me the same way? Sure. You guys aren't doing it. This is so fun. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's fine. Okay, awesome. So now. I'm going to flip the canvas around and we're going to take it the other way. Okay. So each time we swipe it, we have to wipe this off. Otherwise, we're going to have overlapping paint. Look at that, Em. It's nice. It's pretty. Yay. All right, so I'm going to touch it there. Gonna bring that purple out. Look at that purple. Oh, and the so emerald. Pretty. Isn't it? There you go. Thank you. I will do this side. So straighten it out. Right there. Touch down. Lock it out. Yeah. So nice M. Thank you. Alright, and then we're gonna do the painting. last. You like this painting? Yes. Mm, not as perfect as yours, but it looks nice. You do this all the time. I do this all the time. So, so mine even is when not I don't, that perfect. It's not that perfect, but it's going to look really good once it dries. It's going to look really different. Really? Yeah. So I'm thinking I want to add just a little bit more purple. Yeah, because it's barely showing. Yeah, there's not a lot of paint over here. So what we're going to do is just a little dab of that purple there. And I'm going to take this here. Swipe it down. Mm. And then this side. Look at that. It it's looks so pretty. Good. Job. Thanks. Good job, Em. Thanks. So, where would you put this painting? Probably on the wall in my room. Really? Yes. That's awesome. I hope it goes with your other purple ones, too, I'm going to give to you. Okay. I'm going to move this one here. Over here. Oh, 
here. And usually I put tape on the back of these because I sell these paintings. Yours don't need to be super perfect because no one's going to see the back of them, right? Mm. So usually I put tape around here and I'll put some thumbtacks to stand the canvas up so it's upright all the time. And that, so the paint just drips and never gets on the back of the canvas. That sounds really good. <laughs> so for this one, like, will we customize it? We can customize it. I'm thinking that we should do a gray background. So that's why I brought a little bit of black. I'm going to dump out a little bit of this white, put a little black in there. So the colors we use, we're going to use the rest of these colors mm. so it just pops out. And um, we're going to use a cup to put the colors in. Sounds good, guys. <laughs> All right. Looking good, Em. Thank you. So what have we got here? We have a nice, pretty gray. Awesome. It that. looks really nice. Thank you. Okay, so what I'm thinking we can do is a um, cup pour. So let's get started. So basically, we're just going to pour paint into the cup as such or as so. You can just grab colors and put them in there, Em. Don't be afraid. Okay. We got pink. Ooh, we have that's my beige. Color. We used a lot of purple. Yeah. Good job. Thanks. Yeah, you can pour some more in there. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> and we want to put the remaining of the emerald we have. A little bit more emerald here. It's a little watery though. Mm. When you're mixing your paint, um, you don't want it watery, okay? Okay. The rest of the gold. Mm -hmm. Yes, that one. There we go. And then I'll pour some of this. There we go. Whoa, look all right, how it right. just does that. that <laughs> we, is so we don't cool. want that one to take over now. Because some of these colors can take over. And did we put beige? I don't think so. So the last one. Alright. Alright, Em. So I want you to pay attention very closely how I do this, okay? Because okay. it's going to come out looking kind of zigzaggy and going different ways. And then once it dries, you'll see how, see how it... Yeah. Perfect. So I'm going to start here, and I want all these colors. Oh, look Spider. how pretty it looks, guys. So times like this. colors in between. Cool. I want this to be filled at the end. I don't want it to be like bare. And that looks a really good color. <laughs> I like that. It's a, kind of like a minty color. Yeah. Can I try on the other ones? On the other side? You want to do some pink in between? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Let's see how I do. fill in all the other white spaces with the gray. So we're done with color for now. I think this is going to come out really good, guys. It smells like chocolate. The paint? Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. I never thought of it smelling like chocolate. One of 
think your pink couches smell like chocolate. I, I don't I don't think I smell pink, but then my pink couch is scented just right. Yes. <laughs> And now I'm, I'm going to do this next part, you know, because it's paint and it, it, it gets... Very messy. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So I'm going to try to get this all... She's a really good artist, guys. She can customize anything. I really can. Can you, like, draw people? I can draw silhouettes of people. What does that mean? A silhouette isn't per se, um, a f it's just a figure of a person. It's not a face or a particular body part. It's just like a shadow. Almost. Oh. Okay. Because you guys see she's just covering up the ends and stuff. Guys, make sure you check her out. She is really good. I gotta make you customize some things for me. <laughs> I'm sure your mommy will like some of my paintings too. I agree. She loves pink. My mom too. My mom loves pink. So I'm just going to try to get this great paint where I need it to go. So guys, this is how it looks right now. So what I'm doing is I'm moving the paint to, to cover the canvas. If you don't know what canvas means, it means what the painting board. <laughs> The light blue and the dark blue kind of like, looks like, you know, the shape of earth, the color. Whoa. <laughs> See how it moves fast? Yeah, and really so when fast. I move it back this way, wow. Whoa, guys, this is so wow. satisfying behind here. So I want your audience to see how that paint's going to move and how I'm going to end this painting. See this, guys? It looks so satisfying and pretty. Look at that. Beautiful. This is actually really pretty, Emerald. Really? Really pretty. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover these sides that haven't been covered. We don't want no white edges, do we? No. No. It's just like it laying your edges, right? Yeah. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Except they're not purple. She's a natural. Alrighty. Don't forget about those sets. Oh. Good catch, Em. Look at that. Looks really beautiful, guys. Awesome. Look at that. Look at that. Really nice and pretty. And so, I want a little bit, you should not do this at home. You should not yes, do this. Yes, please ask parents. Don't do this until you're you older. You have supervision. You have to be 18 or older to handle these. So this is a torch. And so what this does is it activates the paint. Uh-oh. My torch might be stuck from the paint. Okay. So what the torch is going to do is going to bring out all the cells in the paint. And what cells are, there's these little bubble looking things. Oh, the little bubbles. And so when they separate, it creates a cell so you can see the color underneath of the color that has the cell. That is so cool. I have to do this a couple times. Whoa. And so all I'm doing is popping the air bubbles. Guys, make sure you have adult supervision when you do this part. Okay. 
and we're fabulous. all finished. Looks fabulous, guys. So it looks very nice, very pretty. Really nice. <laughs> Do you want to pick it up and show them? Yeah. It's really beautiful. I love this part and all of it. Yeah, I like this part the best. I think that looks really nice. Me too. So guys, we're going to wrap up the show, but before we do, Shaw, where can they find you? They can find me on Instagram at unexpectedlyamazing underscore CB. Unexpectedlyamazing underscore CB. Do you have any any other platforms you're on? Um, well, I have my private social media account. I do model and, you know, I act and stuff. So, um, they can find me at Shardy underscore V underscore 33. Okay. You heard the girl. Make sure you go check her out. Before I end this video, make sure you subscribe. Hit the notification bell and give me a huge thumbs up. Comment down below what do you think of the paintings and what do you think of her. And make sure you share this video with all your family members. We love you. If you want to see more videos, make sure you stay tuned. Bye! Bye.